Hello everyone and welcome back to Secret Auto Pets. Um, today we're going to be in the Unicorn Pack. Um, because if you've watched any Grounded Sap content over the past... Uh, since the Unicorn Pack came out basically, you've probably heard about, or seen, uh, the Kelly Greyhound. And so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to try it out because I saw those videos and I was like, wow, that looks like a good pet. <laughs> Maybe I should use it. So, you know, we're going a pretty basic unicorn pack opening with Bunyip because Bunyip's really freaking good. And uh, axe handle hounds because we're a menace to society. The axe handle hound is funny. Even though it's basically useless now that we're in a... Realistically, I probably could have switched the Alchemedes with the... Um, whatever that thing's called, the... Thunderhawk. That probably would have been smart, but I didn't, and we lose. But you know, that's just how life works. Um, really the main thing um, with Cali Greyhound that makes it more difficult is uh, Chimera teams, because you can uh, put the Chimera down to one health, and then you're just gonna have like 50-50 Chimera, so, uh, whatever, their max you can get. Like 20, 20, 40, or whatever. Just absolutely crushing you. So. Here we get the Kelly Greyhound, but it's gonna be doing nothing for now. And obviously, there's also different philosophies for how you get mana. Um, I went the Rock, because I think the Rock is maybe the best mana pet. I mean, obviously, you can argue for the, uh, the Sleepner. But I just find it hard to scale. Um, Unicorn pack, maybe that's maybe that's a skill issue. You could always uh compete or like water of youth uh, um, behemoth, but obviously that requires luck that you may not get, so it's easier to just um yeah look for rocks. Unfortunately, I'm getting very unlucky with getting rocks. Um, we also have the tiger beetle one because the tiger beetle is really good. Um, not a huge surprise there. Um, but if we put, theoretically, the uh, highest health pets are going to be the pets in the front. So once our Cali Greyhound goes off, uh, we should be able to get, like, double kills, basically, with the, the Tiger Bug. So there goes our uh, Bigfoot. Maybe you could argue for getting rid of the Skeleton Dog over the Bigfoot, but... Skeleton Dog is giving some scaling. Probably just to uh, the, the Axe Handle Hound, though, now that I'm looking at the team composition. <laughs> so maybe... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not the best use of a, a pet, just based on positioning. We get pretty lucky there, and there goes our axe handle hound. We're gonna get a phoenix instead. Uh, phoenix I found to be very good. Um, I think you've seen it in a couple other videos of mine. Mostly just because the phoenix is good as a pet. Skeleton dog dude, uh, two random friends, so... And we're going to get a behemoth there. Um, just because I found that you want a strong unit. Because you're going to be going up against just insane teams. Like this is this is a rough team right there, right? You get the kill there. And it doesn't matter because they have three 18-18 units. Uh, that we just can't do enough damage to. We get very close there. Uh, thanks to the crisp. But it's not enough. Getting very lucky on getting phoenixes though. Yeah, but something like this with big units, um, we're going to be able to do a lot more with. And uh, putting Nordic Goats uh, gives you some extra crisp damage um, before it gets to your Phoenix, which I personally found helpful in terms of killing them. Usually more spawns better than less more spawns. Unfortunately, they snipe the Behemoth there. But all their pets are very weak, and we're going to be able to get the kill with the crisp, and our phoenix would have taken them out anyway. So yeah, this we're looking pretty solid here, obviously. We're going to put mushroom on the uh, phoenix instead, because mushroom phoenix is really annoying. It's so annoying. Uh, here we got a red dragon taking out our back units. Here we lose to a tomato, which is something you rarely see happen, but it does. 
Um, the red dragon definitely came in clutch there, taking out our uh, tiger beetle. That's really unfortunate. So we, I think our behemoth is strong enough now. I'm trying to compete it into something better. But here you can see, right, we have... Um, We have the goats, and that Chimera team seems really scary, but thanks to the power of the Mushroom Phoenix, we're able to get the win, which is why I like Phoenix so much. Here we level into a Team Spirit, which isn't the best thing in the world. So obviously there's not a ton of pets that I want a mushroom. Here we see the power. Boom. Oh, it's, it's beautiful when it does that. <laughs> That's why I really like this team. It's just so nice to whittle everything down, and then your Tiger Beetle just jumps in front. Our Tiger Beetle is really the main uh, pet that we can try to level up uh, in battle with the Team Spirit. Here we have a, a Crisp Flamethrower team. And we out Crisp them. <laughs> Such is life. But yeah, obviously we couldn't um, do anything with... Maybe shouldn't have frozen the computer. We're gonna put a pita bread on the um, on the team spirit. That obviously seems pretty helpful. I hear jumping teams obviously scary. Unfortunate the brain cramp had more health there. But they're left with just the frogman versus my double phoenixes, and we're able to get the win there. Yeah, I think that's a pretty fun team. I really do like the Cali Greyhound. I love how it synergizes with the Tiger Beetle. And I'll see you in the next one. Alright, this is a little bit of a different concept. And we're going to be using the Cali Greyhound again. But this time in a uh, versus lobby. So after I get through this, I'll show everyone in the lobby. And so many people are saying that Unicorn Pack is not very good in a... So let's let's take a look. We got Mirko. They're very good. Uh, wave file relocate. I I bear and Troubadour. Uh, I joined Troubadour is going for uh, ranked A to Z, which is one of his series. Um, so I was watching the stream and I joined one of the lobbies. Very interesting to go for the turn two level up. I think I beat Troubadour here. Yeah. Get like two tier two level ups. No, just the Alchemides. Um, I lost my train of thought. And so he was going for the Behemoth Ribbon. So I decided in solidarity to also play Unicorn Pack. And so let's just see how it goes. Obviously Versus is a completely different environment. So Mirko, I think he's known for playing Puppy Pack. So... This isn't super surprising, but we're able to get the win. I beat Mirko. <laughs> Stop the count. So now we're just doing we're just doing normal normal unicorn pack things here. I bears running this absolute cursed uh, turtle pack monstrosity. Two kangaroos. You know we have a very solid team in the early game right now. And we level into Cali Greyhound, and that's not all. We level into Tiger Bug, and I get these two pets, um, and I obviously know what I'm doing. I don't think I planned on doing Cali Greyhound, but after that, it's like I have no other options. Good math there, and we stay winning. So obviously, the goal now remains to pump as much mana as possible into the Cali Greyhound, and just keep cooking. And there we absolutely dunk on the <laughs> that kangaroo. <laughs> Which was beautiful. We get the rock. I mean, this is going about as well as you could possibly ask for in this versus lobby. Uh, Wayfile is also running um, Unicorn Pack. We'll see them a couple times. There they get a win. Dude, did they, I think they got some better perks. But if you look, you can see Troubadour died immediately. Uh, Eyebear is also gone. 
Um, so me, Wavefile, and Mirko are all at four right now. I think I lose this one. Yeah. Very close, one health, but uh, the chili from the toucan is going to be too much there. So now I'm thinking about scaling, so I get a um, team spirit on the team. This guy's going for a jump build with Frogman, which is annoying. Here we're going to see something weird in that my tiger bug with less attack jumps before their tiger bug with more attack. Um, I don't know why that is. I have some assumptions. And there we get the level 3. So we get some scaling. I think it's because my tiger bug is in 3rd position compared to theirs is in 4th position. I have no evidence for this. But uh, ours going first before theirs is uh, kind of hard carrying us right now. So now we have Slepner to get even more mana on our Kelly Greyhound. Obviously at this point we're taking everything basically to one, so it's not like a huge deal to do that, but, and there we get a tie. And so Mirko's internet actually disconnected <laughs> during this match. So now it's left to just me versus Wavefile um, for the win. So I'm trying to keep up scaling wise compared to his team. Honestly, I think Skeleton Dog is probably not a great front pet. He probably should have switched that. There we get unlucky. Um, that the Tiger Bug had more health than the Baku. But in the end, it all works out. Uh, just due to the fact that their Frogman isn't getting scaled at all. So we kind of have an advantage and with that we can take out two of their pets. Um, with the uh, tiger bug. And the extra mana from the sleep near there actually comes in clutch so hard. Getting us an extra kill. So now we got gingerbread cookies all over the place. Um, I don't know when we actually win this. Honestly, if I were Wayfile, I would have pivoted off the Skeleton Dog and the Baku much earlier. They never used the Baku. Um, they could have put something like a Behemoth. I guess that's not too valuable. Maybe a Phoenix? I think a Phoenix could go pretty good in this build. And we're able to get the win. I don't think Wayfile played that um, incredibly great. But it's just another example of the Kelly Greyhound going absolutely hog wild. It's a very good pet. I see why Grounded likes it so much. See you in the next one.